Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling a Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to look at what's new in Zim 017. So we've already looked at this little chat guy right here and Rive, and now let's go to Zim 017, go left, and find the cat. Oh, nice, huh? So we have concave physics, and we're also creating that physics with a blob that has its um, shape determined by this image. Yay! And with simplified points, etc. So let's see how we did that in code. F11. We're bringing in Zim Physics, Zim 017. And we have a picture of a cat. We got a label. We have the new pick centered on the stage. And we've created some physics with drag, so that means each of these things drag, the circle drags, and the cat drags as well. We make a new blob, and for the blob points, we're outlining the pick, and we're simplifying those points by a factor. Uh, if you go one, I think it's... Which way does that go again? Um, why don't we take a look and see in the docs here under Zim Docs. I'll zim and then Docs. And we type in Simplify. Points and Tolerance. Okay, so a bunch of points. And then Tolerance. Thanks, Vladimir, for making this, by the way. What, what does Tolerance do? Default 10, the amount of simplification in pixels. <laughs> well, we can try it out. Why don't we try it out and we'll see. Uh, we've put no color basically on the blob and turned off its points as well so you can't see it. Then we locate it at the pick that we made. We add physics to the blob, not the pick. And then we add the pick to the blob. So the pick is in the blob. The blob has the physics. And we're good. Wow, okay, that's very nice. Hmm, how shall we check? Why don't we turn the interactive off and then we should see the points. If we don't want to see the pick in there, then we could not add the pick either here. All right, let's see what this looks like. Refresh. <laughs> That's the online version. Let's see what the local version looks like. Open the default browser. <coughs> there it is. Oh, well, we lost the lines. So there are the points. And the points will be like straight lines. Why don't we put a border on it? Then we can see. Board, border, color, red, border, width, three. hit the refresh there she be uh, we didn't center the pick on the page which means it's just like coming from up here and falling I guess all right and that's what that looks like so as you can see it's drawing a straight line between and let's see what the order is well well why don't we center that and we'll set the dot viz false on it that way it will fall in the right position and adjust some of these things, like the, the number 10. What if we go to 1? <coughs> okay, so that that's quite, uh, quite good. So that has emulated the shape nicely, all its curves. But I don't think you need it that much. So let's try the other way around. 100. Ooh, you might want just a little bit more than that. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so we got it set at 10, like so. Uh, nice, I'm actually going to undo these things. There we go. And this can be found, too, out on Manuel's um, website, uh, where he goes through a lot of physics with flash like box 2d and flash from a long time ago he's moved into phaser since then but uh, too bad he didn't find out about zim early enough 
could have got them on our side. That would have been nice. But uh, you can go back, and a lot of the Flash examples that he's doing are, he's got um, a blog filled with uh, cool things to do, like cutting things in half and stuff. So you're welcome to go find that at that location. This one in particular is here. And also thanks, Vladimir, for the Simplify. Mm, there's somebody else as well. Oh, and, sorry, Vlad up here for the Simplify, and then Anton for the uh, outline of the image thing. Cheers. Okay, any more information on that? Let's go to the docs here, top, and hit updates. Or you can find it updates here at the bottom as you look in here. There's the, the updates for this one specifically and anything else we want to mention. So there's the outline image. That's what it looks like. Great. And thanks, Amy, for the, the prompting on this. He's been following that blob and making lots of, game, lots of games based on that. And uh, was hoping that we could get this integrated into Zim, and that's a great idea. And then here is the, the concave physics. So concave physics splits things up into other polygons and luckily those polygons I used to dislike box 2d because it was so complicated in the way it divided up everything but you can split up the shape but still keep the same fixture so that means nothing changes with with respect to zim physics we just made um, a more complicated fixture um, out of it and so we split up multiple shapes and all fixed to the same physics object. Yay! All right, uh, that's good. We had some examples of doing that previously where we would have to make a semicircle here. We would add some triangles to it so that we could handle the concave. So this was just a few Zims ago, uh, maybe even Zim, what was it? Zim version Zim, something like that. Maybe Zim 15, 16. Anyway, now we can do it without doing that. That's super with the outline. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. And come on in to zimjs.com slash discord or zimjs.com slash forum or forum.zimjs.com. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions too, we can help you out. Have a great day or night. Bye.